March as it's coming to an end was uh, named back in 1987 by then President Ronald Reagan as Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. And it provides an opportunity to really get the word out about some great groups, uh, not only across America, but specifically right here in Jersey that are making great differences for those with uh, with disabilities, uh, developmental disabilities. My guest is the Assistant Executive Director of a terrific Jersey-based group called Community Access Unlimited. And I have Joanne Oppelt, uh, who is here this morning. Good morning, Joanne. Good to see you. Thank you, Bert. Thank you so much for coming by. And uh, for your work and for your group's work uh, with people with developmental disabilities, it's uh, it's not an easy thing to deal with. And you and your organization do, do a great job on that. Uh, talk about the background, if you will, about Community Access Unlimited and what you guys are all about. Well, Community Access Unlimited started in 1979 out of the back seat of the executive director's Volkswagen uh, with a $90,000 grant to take 20 people in Union County Mm -hmm. out of developmental institutions and place them in the community. Today, we serve people with all kinds of disabilities, about 6,000 people throughout the state of New Jersey, uh, and we have a $67 million budget and over 1,100 staff. Wow, and this started in in a Volkswagen. You've moved out of the Volkswagen since then, right? About six months after it started. Started, yes, we, sure, we, sure. we moved into a basement where there were some issues. <laughs> Just part of the story of how it has grown and evolved over the years. Yes, right? yes. Uh, uh, it's a, there's a tremendous demand for the services that you offer, right? It, it seems like it's it's growing every year, I would think, too, right? Yes, about one in five people in the United States has one or more disabilities. That is a staggering number. Wow. And uh, the demand here in Jersey is is steady, right? Yes. The state is moving from a contract-based system to Mm -hmm. a fee-for-service system. And um, as with any change to a system, there's a lot of confusion and a lot of growing pains. Uh, So, yes, there is demand. There is more demand. There's been a waiting list when it was under the contract system for years and years and years of like 25,000 people. Wow. So there's a huge demand. Has this streamlined the process, these changes, and made the care better for people who are receiving it? Well, that's the hope. Okay. Uh, right now, they're just beginning those changes. They're just in, I'd, I'd say they're about a third of the way through those changes. So it remains to be seen how smoothly people will transition into it. Mm. What I do know is that the new system, as with any new change in a system, people are don't understand it and are fraught with confusion is that we have family mentors on staff. So if you are a a caregiver of a person with a disability, you can call us at 908-354-3040 and um, ask for Patrick Fay, who is our family mentor, and uh, he will get you through that process. He will help you through that process. Terrific. Uh, Talk about, if you would, about the Academy of Continuing Education. Now, this is the ACE program, they call that. What's ACE all about? ACE is the Academy for Continuing Education. It's a post-high school education. It was developed as an educational alternative to a day program uh, or a day program. And and, um, that's how it's paid for is through day habilitation monies. Um, We have classes in reading and writing and math and history and media and and, uh, uh, performing arts and fine arts and just a lot of different things. It is based in Cranford, New Jersey. Okay. We do not offer transportation to and from unless you want to purchase those services. Uh, but um, we get we get w- rave reviews for it. Classes are once a week for two hours for about 10 weeks, except for one semester where it is uh, four weeks. And um, people love it. It's we, skill development is what it comes down to, it's right? It's skill development and leadership development, and it's so people don't regress. Oftentimes, people with developmental disabilities continue to improve throughout the educational system, and then without that that uh, skill building and without the learning that's taking place, uh, the skills regress. It's like anything else. You have to kind of stay on top of it and, and something that you have to really kind of continue to work along, right? Yes. And so that you maintain and develop those skills like anything else, right? Yes, yes. That's what I try to convey to people uh, about uh, those with developmental disabilities. Uh, treat them like anyone else. They they want to get up and go to a job and be one of the guys or one of the girls just like anybody else, right? And that's what CAU's mission is all about. It's really about community integration. It's really about people being seen as people. Um, as far as employment goes, we have 
lots of examples of people who have been gainfully employed in the community. Yeah, talk about some of the jobs that the people are, are, are holding down, which sure. is great. Sure, clerical, uh, hospitality, um, food service, uh, warehousing, uh uh, animal shelters, you know, there's just a number of different industries that people can be employed in. Oftentimes, employers think that it's more expensive to hire people with disabilities. Why would they think that? I, I don't know why. Be- I, I've, I've seen that, too, and I'm, I'm not sure why. It baffles me why. Because they think they that the, that the adaptations that they are going to need to make to make the job accessible are going to cost more than what they get. It's minimal, if any, right? It is minimal. Right. It is minimal, and oftentimes the rewards that you get in terms of reduced absenteeism and improved job loyalty and increased branding in the community because you are participating in a social good are well worth whatever minor costs you have. See, I love seeing that. The grocery store that my wife and go to, uh, we go to every weekend, there are people with developmental disabilities who are working at this grocery store. Yes. And I'm telling you that they're so focused on the job and they do such remarkable work that I purposely, when it comes time to check out the groceries, I take a look and see who's doing the bagging because I know I'm going to get some some good conversation the job is going to be done right. They, they take their work seriously. And you know what? I feel good to know that I'm helping somebody along. And, and, I, and they're, help, they're happy to help me. Yeah. You know? And that's it's why remarkable. It's, that's part of the reason why it's a great idea to hire people with disabilities. It's just it's an incredible thing and something that I wish I see more of. And thanks to groups like yours. And this is since 1979 you've been, you've been doing this? 1979, your organization? almost 40 years. That is awesome. And uh, it's just going to continue to grow and get better, right? It yes. really is. Yes. Uh, all right. What's, what was the phone number again if someone wanted some more info? 908-354-3040. All right. Joanne, in the next segment, I want to talk about some of the other things in terms of housing and also about some, uh, when it comes to adults with disabilities, some other support that's offered. We Can can we talk about that in the next segment? Yes. All right, great. So we're back on Jersey Central. I want to thank my special guest, Joanne Oppelt, the uh, Executive Assistant Director, Assistant Executive Director for Community Access Unlimited. She's also a member, and she's here talking about the great programs and uh, just the great difference that Community Access Unlimited, or CAU, has made uh, in Jersey and uh, just the remarkable work. We talked about the employment services and uh, the employment opportunities and the programs there. Uh, Everybody needs a place to live, Joanne. So talk about some of the things that you do in terms of housing and uh, the uh, programs and things that are offered there. Well, we offer residential housing in Union County. Right now, that's where all our rental properties are. Um, We offer uh, supports based on what the person's need is, uh, whatever they need, social life, uh, life skills, daily activities of living, um, whatever they need. And oftentimes, um, it depends on how much supervision the person needs as to what the staff ratio is. Um, and we match people with, uh, in, in age and mobility issues, um, to see if the house is accessible. About 30% of our housing is accessible. We have about 90 units that are accessible. Um, and we also offer respite care for families who uh, need a break. Mm-hmm. Um, and that can be um, in your home or that could be at one of our residences in Union County as well. Yeah, and just uh, to be able to take care of everyone involved is uh, is an important thing. And I, I've I've never enjoyed uh, the one size fits all approach. Everybody's different. Everyone's needs are unique, right? And it sounds like this is custom tailored based upon the needs of the person, right? Well, it's extremely individualized. That's based how it on, has to be, right? Yes, based on skills and interests and and abilities and and everything else. That's important. Let me just give us uh, some of the information and uh, about where people who are members, who are community access and limited members, uh, some of the uh, work areas that they're working in. We're talking about clerical hospitality. Retail, manufacturing, facilities management, food services, uh, shipping, receiving, warehouse work. This is serious stuff. This yes. is th- these are jobs that you could stay at for years and years and years. Yes, and we have members who have been employed for twenty or more years who just celebrated twenty years, and we appreciate um, those employers who welcome people with disabilities. Shoprite is one of them. I was going to say I want to thank the employers as well. Uh, Shoprite, she had mentioned. Marshalls, Walmart, uh, Dollar Tree, Retro Fitness, who's a great partner of this radio station. I'm glad that Retro Fitness is uh, is working with uh, with CAU. That's awesome. Uh, also, Target, Swan Motel, White Castle, Trinitas Medical Center, uh, even Amazon. 
Amazon, the largest company in the world, is yeah. uh, employs people through the CAU program. That's remarkable. Yes. If Amazon is going to sign off on a person, you know that they're they're the real deal. There's somebody you can count on, right? Yes. That's how it's done. Incredible stuff. Are, are there misconceptions, Joanne, that you deal with all the time about people think CAU means one thing and they're completely off base as to what CAU is all about? It, it's a positive group that you have here. Um. Well, the. Uh, the biggest issue that we have, it like many nonprofits, is that people in the community who are not in the disability community, if they don't know about us, they don't know about us. Right, right. And they don't know what we do. Um, they don't uh, oftentimes understand the comprehensiveness of our services and the depth of our services. For example, we employ, I think we're up to 17 behaviorists on staff for those who have uh, behavioral challenges. We also employ 15 nurses for those with medical challenges. So we're able to uh, serve people with very, very acute needs as well as people who are very high functioning. And uh, like we mentioned about the custom tailored levels of service for the people, and that's what that comes down to. You know, well, I don't know why people think it's just well, you know, they go, they lock you in a room for a couple hours, and they they send you back home. That's not it at all. These are, these are capable, able people that are making differences in the community. Just need a little help, a little support here and there. They, no, no one's an island, uh, Joanne. We've all needed some help at some point in our lives, right? They are, and and our ad, I think our advocates say it the best in terms of. Um, really going out and changing the community. They work with legislators, both municipal and statewide. They do budget testimony. They they do letter writing campaigns. We just made a video um, that's still in production. That's still in the editing process with Assemblywoman Keanu. Oh, okay. Um, um, so we're we're really making a difference, and some of the changes that we've been able to see is that they've gone out with the town to see how accessible facilities are for people with disabilities, and there have actually been changes in some towns because of that. That's what it is. You just kind of wake people up to what you're offering and what the program is all about, and I'd like to think people are, are receptive once they kind of see that you're doing great work. I mean, that's what it comes down to. Well, unfortunately, not everybody is re- is as receptive as they everybody need else. To be. There's still a lot of stigma you associated. Be. I will come out there and fix them pers- <laughs> personally if I have to. Get over to stigma. That's not what it's about. No. Stigma is so 1995. We don't do that anymore. Right? That's what it's about. I wish everyone was like you. Well, we need more people uh, like yes. me. Maybe that's it. Uh, but uh, for someone you want to begin, the w- what's the first step, Joanne? If someone wants to find out more about the programs and about the great employment opportunities and the housing and just to kind of learn about the great work that Community Access Unlimited has been doing since 1979. How do they start the process? Well, they can go to our website, www.caunj.org. Uh, they can fill out a request. Someone will get back to you. Or they can call us at 908-354-3040, extend, no, no extension. Just call the main Just number. Just call the right. main number and, and ask for you. you you can ask for inform- you can ask for anybody anybody will get, will get back to you very good uh joanne opelt uh, cau's assistant executive director and uh, a cau member thank you for your time today it was great having you in the studio today and uh keep in touch let me know about the, how things are progressing and uh it's amazing work you're doing so thank you again all right thank you bert